Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Snippet Podcast. I'm joined once again with my boy Rafi. Rafi, how you doing? Good, Bresky. What are you telling me? Not much, man. Uh, as I told you before, played a little bit of football tonight. Nice. Um, I had a bit of chili con carne, so happy days, happy days. I didn't even share it with me, you know, so nothing. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Bless up, bro. Just came back from work, had a bit of dinner, chilling, and we're active for episode 11. Yes, mate. Um, before we actually get into this, I'm going to quickly turn down your voice just in case it interferes with my microphone. So, no quick interim. Do, 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 do. I'm actually skanking to it. Yes. We're good. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about social media. Um, this is something me and Raf wanted to cover for a little while. Uh, we both think we have a few good things to talk about on it. Um, mm-hmm. With regards to the agenda for the podcast, we're going to be speaking about our own personal experiences with it. Uh, speaking about social media in general, impact on society, the pros and cons. Do we use social media? Um, should there be a barrier for social media, and you know why is it empowering? Uh, kind of relating back to the the pros. Um, so I guess we can jump right into it, Raf. Yes. So for me, I, I, I'll, I'll start. Mm-hmm. So for me personally, um, I don't have <coughs> any social media apart from uh, LinkedIn, yeah, which is purely for professional reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, so, do I like social media? No. Um, for many reasons. <laughs> so, back in, I think it was 2017, yeah. I made a New Year's resolution to get rid of social media. Mm. I was kind of always looking for an excuse in 2016 to get rid of it, but like I kept putting it off because I was worried what would happen if I didn't have it. Um, but I finally came to the conclusion, I was like, you know what, fuck it, in the new year. I'm going to get rid of it. <clears throat> now, why did I get rid of it? So, first and foremost, um, it was a complete time waster for me. <laughs> I would just like, I would find myself mindlessly scrolling through Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. Yeah. And I just like, I would, I would come out of using those apps and just not gain anything from it. Well, at least 90% of the time. Um, and also, this is something that has kind of progressively happened over time like i find social media now is just an absolute cesspit of negativity like everywhere yeah, yeah, you go yeah. especially twitter twitter oh my god <laughs> twitter is uh, twitter is insane, one of the big man. ones man for it literally yeah Spread absolutely so quickly like, yeah anything anything like someone's got a reply like some kind of negative cunty reply do you know what i mean yeah man for real <laughs> um so those were the two main things really is just purely for time wasting I, sort of, I just felt like I was wasting too much time and it was just too much negativity on there I just didn't really feel happy using it essentially um, I also felt like I was freeing myself from a lot of fake news essentially Yeah. Um, you know what social media can be like there's so many rumours and stuff floating yeah, about speculation fake um, stuff yeah, literally. especially politics good oh, grief oh my gosh, everyone's man. got an opinion on everything man for real and <laughs> again it just it relates back to the fact of like it didn't really bring any meaning to my life man I just mm. felt uncomfortable using it really no that's fine um, yeah yeah, I'd find myself kind of like engaging with these people as well in online debates. Like, there's no fucking winner. Like, what's the point? <laughs> it's literally energy burner, and that's it. Exactly, mate. Uh, and also another one I've got this written down is that I wanted to cut a lot of people out of my life. I didn't want a lot of people who I wasn't really close with mm. finding out about everything yeah, that I do. And that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just I, I, I respect you know having some kind i understand like we're in a very kind of online connected world these days but i respect you know having privacy understand um, got to have some kind of privacy about your life do you know what i mean and mm. i felt like i just didn't need to share a bunch of shit with the people i don't really like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do that's, I mean? that's that's true you're real about it man because not everyone deserves to know your business anyway in the first place and if you don't want to share it with people then don't share it anyway so that's it yeah yeah, a, a lot of people might reply to that and say, like, look, it's your own decision on who you follow on Twitter and who you're friends with on Facebook, but yeah. they can they still, still find you exactly, through still mutual friends yeah, and whatnot. Exactly. And, 
Yeah. They can always find some kind of way to get information from other people that you're currently friends with. I don't know. I just felt like I just didn't, didn't really like it. I just wanted to cut people out of my life. It was yeah. just... But it was a bit of soul searching at that time as well, like, you know, finding the real ones and all that sort of lot. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Of course, bro. Um, and, oh gosh, I didn't even mention this earlier, which is probably, again, the main reason was, and, I, and I've said this to you and a few of our mates as well quite frequently, which is like, I just want to have more meaningful conversation and experiences yeah, with people, exactly. to be honest. Yeah. Um, you know, we all kind of communicate so much online uh, and share everything online. We forget what it feels like to actually sit down and have a proper one-to-one conversation with people yeah like live like at concerts as well especially like the fucking oh, for real. literally i was at, i was at mob deep concert the other week and yeah. christ all the phones went up when uh shook ones came on like the main anthem. <laughs> oh, it's like oh my word it was insane and and, and uh the, the the app that we're using was snapchat as well obviously like yeah yeah and i was just thinking during that split second like man the amount of like social pressure there is to just upload shit and Exactly. Yeah. Got to keep, got to keep like up with a status and stuff like that that you're showing off to people and everything. Yeah. 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 Uh, and yeah, what one other reason as well, which is I wanted to stop comparing myself with other people. One, I've mentioned this on on, I think on previous podcasts as well, like about mm-hmm. imposter syndrome and whatnot, and uh, not not thinking I deserve to be where I want to be and blah blah blah, and. I felt like social media, like especially Instagram, um, it's so easy to compare yourself with other people. Yeah. So, so easy. Oh, my word. And um, it just didn't help me. So with all those reasons combined, that's why I wanted to get rid of it, to be honest. Um, Fair enough. I, I, I don't know what your opinion is on that, if you if if you agree with anything I say. No, no, or... no I can totally understand why you wouldn't, you'd want to do that and I'll probably mention in my examples in a bit as well as to why both of them correlate with yours and stuff. But, um, bro, I mean, like it's like you said, I remember when we sat down about it and we spoke in person about everything, you know, you were, I remember you were on social media for a little bit, you know, we had our little tags and stuff and we would use them here and there for like, you know, interactions, like for sending jokes and stuff and then... yeah. You just want to get rid of it, and that's fine. So not, I mean, look, there's other people in our friendship group that don't have all the social medias that we're used to this day, and if they're not happy or if they don't want to use it, they don't have to. They're not obliged to download it and use it if they don't want to. It's like yeah. you were saying. It's sometimes it could be a time waster, and you know, <clears throat> a lot of shit can literally be spread on one social network, and it's just like so much toxic stuff on timelines that people don't actually want to see, and you know. What goes through people's mind to actually think, oh, you know what? I'm going to get a bit of clout and I'm going to share this stupid post and see if I get just like, you know, a couple of retweets and likes for it. But I'll get onto that in my section a little bit later on. But I can, yeah. t- I totally understand what you mean. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to bloody reply to that. I completely forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was, what the fuck? Oh, God, I completely went as well. I was just going to say, that was it, yeah. Um, when I say these things as well, like, I don't want to sound too preachy because. I understand social media for a lot of people can um, be very useful and I've had conversations yeah. with people about it as well like getting in touch with old friends blah 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 of course. Um, and this is another thing as well <laughs> a lot of people might be thinking well you're being a complete hypocrite because you've got uh, a Twitter account a snippet podcast mm. but, but I look at that as purely like that's for a, a solid business purpose. Exactly. It's a business a thing business purpose, you know. like, to, yeah to like interact with fans or whatever like yeah, I was watching yeah. the True Geordie podcast recently and he was with um, who was he with it doesn't matter actually but anyway he was with someone oh that was it Eddie Hearn oh, okay. was Eddie Hearn and Eddie Hearn was basically saying how the amount of abuse he would get online Yeah. Um, and then True, Ge- <coughs> True Geordie was basically responding saying <coughs> excuse me um, he was responding saying like Mate, don't even read it. Like he said, he's got an account with hundreds of thousands of followers, and he doesn't even read what his fans say to him. It's purely for a business perspective. Yeah, exactly. Man. Um, Some people just there to sit out work, do their bit. That's it. Shut shop for the day, and then that's it. They don't really run or look at the other stuff behind the scenes because they only got one main focus really to do with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. But ha- having said that, with my thoughts on it and why I don't like it. Mm why do you still have yours and what do you see as positive currently in social media okay so i'll i'll be upfront about it i've got facebook twitter snapchat and instagram google plus 
Google Plus discontinued soon. But um, <laughs> yeah, I've got all of that, and I've obviously got LinkedIn as well. Now, I've always had these social media apps because one, I like, like I said, from like you were mentioning, I like to connect with people, I like to follow a couple pages, read the news on certain articles and stuff like that, and. Um, I thought it would be for me, you know what, I just use it for a daily purpose, you know, post a photo, oh, went out for dinner tonight with the boys, etc. put a status up, and then that's it. Or, uh-huh. um, like, the main ones that I tend to use now are, of course, WhatsApp for us to talk. Twitter, because that plays a big part in how we use, obviously, for a uh, snippet would you say? Would you say yeah, WhatsApp is on social media, by the way? I mean... Because this is something like I wanted a... to speak about as well, because hmm. I hmm. use WhatsApp a lot, like, a lot. That's but I feel like that's, we a, that's talk, a good really, substitute. Yeah. I mean, WhatsApp is kind of classed as a... How can we explain it? It's a, it's a messenger... It's a messaging it's a messaging app. Service, isn't yeah. It? So I guess it kind of promotes the fact <clears> of, like, you can connect with people and from there you can... I mean, you can video call people, you can voice note people, you could... So, socialize and i don't know i mean you could do a lot of things with whatsapp i mean it's quite empowering because you could download whatsapp on your on your computer and you can send a document to someone or you can send photos and you can send other forms of media pretty much like what um some of these other messaging apps do but in a much more efficient way so i mean it's a bit of a tricky one for whatsapp i mean no do you know what you made you made a good point there as well actually because jeez i've got some bloody cough man forgive me (laughs) um it also has the uh like that that kind of snapchatty kind of thing you oh, know yeah, where you can post status statuses and stuff yeah, can't yeah, you yeah. yeah so it's kind of mimicking snapchat a bit there and also guess who owns whatsapp facebook. fucking facebook <laughs> obviously and i just found out that there's a whatsapp business app now as well so huh, looks like linkedin's going to be on a matting if they're going to find out about this soon enough because 367,000 people I've already installed that, so I'll see you there with your new job, mate. But What's that business? Literally, I just found out about that now when I was just searching it up. But yeah, back on to why I have it. Um, as for Twitter, like I mainly use Twitter to interact with viewers, uh, friends, and obviously because of Simple Podcasts and the PokerF channels. Um, Twitter yep. is probably the main social media that I use to interact with people distribute videos um like for example it, it can be promoted for other good things i'll get onto that a bit later on but in my recent time now despite me having like facebook snapchat instagram i have noticed that as i've gotten older i don't tend to use them that much so like for example on instagram i would go on there and if i'm like you know following someone's photos and stuff i like check them out or see what other posts like well, it's a couple car for um car profiles that i follow on there like you know have to look at the new cars and see how friends are getting on with stuff and i, ch- I talk to them when i can but i don't yeah. tend to use it in the way as of before like oh back when we were younger and i think this is something that our generation now is looking at or the new generation that's coming in to see how instagram is performed like because you could do loads of things with instagram you can go live you could do q and a's you can do um you could do a load of you could do a load of shit with any social media to be honest but like people care or okay this might be a bit controversial from the way i say it so i'll try and say it in the least um controversial way shall i say that well. back in the day people would care about likes oh, I'm going to post a photo. If I get 100 likes, oh, that's a sick photo of me. If I don't get 100 likes, I'm going to delete it. Stuff like that. And oh, I'm sure yeah. <laughs> when we were younger, we would all give a crap about, oh, I really want to get like, a certain amount of likes, blah, blah, blah. Oh, like, my God. Yeah. Like, bro, seriously, it's mad. And even on Twitter for like retweets and likes, that's cool. Yeah. Like for that. But for me, I've stopped to give so much damn about the likes and I just upload a photo here and there. So like, for example, on my personal Instagram, I up. I have, the last time I uploaded a photo was probably about last month, but then before that was back in July when I graduated. Just a little thing to say, oh, I've graduated from, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then, yeah, back in the day when we were younger, at secondary school, oh, I want to upload this selfie of me and my new haircut. Oh, I look, I look sick in that, man. And yeah. then obviously, like, like this tweet for that, like this tweet for that. Now I'll be upfront about it. when I when it comes to Twitter and likes and retweets, the only way I enforce that stuff is if people want to be interacting in something like for example i would recently done a, i'm doing a giveaway on um the pokey ref thing like basically i've managed to catch and oh i've managed to catch every single rare pokemon for example and as a nice thing to give back to the community i said to them 
I'm going to give someone the chance to win a Pokemon of their choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All they need to do is just like and retweet this tweet and just follow me. That's it. Afterwards, you uh-huh. can unfollow me. You can unlike it. Blah blah blah. But that's just a way for you to know that. Okay, I want to enter this competition and do it. So yeah. that's one way it can be enforced in a positive manner and stuff. But I think I'm kind of sidetracked a little bit. But basically, back on my topic. Yeah. For me, social media is more of like a one in a once in a blue moon thing. Most of the time, I'm either on YouTube just watching videos, or yeah. I'm on WhatsApp talking to you guys. And uh-huh. apart from that, that's it. I don't mind going on Snapchat here and there, checking out what people's stories have been up on the day, or like sending a funny video in the group chat with the boys. But that's it. Like as time has gotten on, I've stopped to give a shit so much about social media because at the end of the day, like you were mentioning, a lot of toxic stuff can be promoted on there, and it's quite. It has a it has a big process on the brain as well. Like the way people yeah. think. And how they have to get on with their daily life. Like, if you're an influencer or if you're like a vlogger, then I totally understand. You've got a completely different concept that you have to do for your daily, like your day-to-day job or daily activities. But for me, social media, like, it's just something that's just pitched down a little bit for me. I use it here and there, like, like, yeah. like two notifications here on like what five notifications here on WhatsApp, but it's nothing like a thousand where oh I've left them here from like 2016. I'm catching up with all my likes and stuff, but. Mm. overall social media man is um plays a big part that's for sure because uh it depends on how you execute you can execute for your own personal business or if you're just trying to seek clout and stuff and um yeah that's about it yeah, really man. yeah you, you made a few interesting points there like firstly about um you in, you, you interacting with your fans like, yeah. like i can completely relate that back to our twitter account with the snippet exactly. podcast Precisely. you know if, if if we ever wanted to engage with our fans that would be the best way ultimately exactly um <clears throat> and also when you spoke about whatsapp and and, and youtube mm. heck like i forgot to mention like that th- those two are the substitutes for for my deleted social media but yeah. i think that's okay because i briefly mentioned it earlier with whatsapp i'm talking with people mm-hmm. who i want to talk to I arrange meetings on there. I arrange dates on there. Everything happens on there if yeah. if shit wants to happen. Do you know Precisely. what I mean? Yeah. Um, and with YouTube, I watch too much YouTube, and maybe, <laughs> maybe maybe that's something I do need to improve on. But like, I laugh so much with YouTube videos. Yeah, I have learned so much from watching, you know, influential people on on that's YouTube. Nice. You know, I choose what I want to watch. I'm not gonna fucking watch garbage you know what i mean yeah, like, exactly. um well you can watch garbage as well maybe you're lying down in bed at 3 yeah, you know, and somehow like, you're on the right side of video. youtube but yeah, yeah it's exactly. a different matter <laughs> <laughs> exactly man um but yeah like i've 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 used those two and i, I ultimately i i I'm, I'm telling myself it's not that bad to be honest because mm. Yeah, you I, I think it's you're, fine. yeah, exactly. You're doing it like you've got a sole purpose, like you mentioned, for WhatsApp is to interact with people, chat to our mates, and you know, organize things in there. And then YouTube is just having a crack. You're watching videos, you know, you're learning things. You could be, um, it could be an interactive video, it could be an informative video, whatever type of video it could be. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine, man. That's... There, was, there was another thing you said as well when you were, when you were talking a minute ago, like mm. about how, um, psychology is kind of getting involved with with social media as well like yeah. people's it, it's almost like a lot of people's brains are being <clears throat> they're being rewired yeah <clears throat> like i was watching this youtube video from a guy a facebook like executive he was a really really top dog in the company yeah and he's now quit facebook and he's basically doing loads of like keynotes and and talks to people about how social media is bad and what these companies are doing to yeah. manipulate people and like um they're essentially like exploiting human psychology to ensure that retention rates on their apps remain really high like for example this is a, a case study i researched a little while ago with the um facebook notification button this is a very very small example but very very powerful mm-hmm. <clears throat> they never used to have uh that notification bell i believe or if they did they had it designed in such a way that wasn't very useful but am then, i right in thinking this is the notification bell that um is this what just to alert people about likes or for followings or for notifications in general uh everything okay. so like the bell in the top right essentially okay. yeah and they made one small tweak 
And what they did is they changed the color to red. And the science behind that was that when you see that red coming up in the top right, you instantly think, oh, emergency. Like, I need to check that. Oh, yeah. So you've got like a sense of like, oh, God, I really need to find out what it is. Yeah. Think, and that, yeah. That's not bullshit either because I'm definitely a victim of that. Like I yeah, see a, a freaking like flashing notification, which is red. And I'm like, fuck, I've got to see it, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, got, they have like this fail fast learn quickly kind of mentality where they just um you know design a bunch of shit see how the users respond to it and then like increment based off of that and then eventually they get to a point where like they found something so good that they just stick to it and it just like freaking rewires people's brains that, that's like another topic in itself but it's super interesting yeah it is, it is indeed like, and yeah i feel yeah. almost kind of free from that in a way precisely man like, you know, another thing as well, like, when you see, like, all these people that are, like, promoting something, they're like, oh, I mean, like, in a sense for YouTube, when we say, turn the notification on if you want to be alerted about our content, once again, it depends on the purpose. Like, we're not actually saying, oh, you've definitely got to do this, you've definitely got to do that, otherwise we're going to be, we ain't going to make videos again if you don't do it. Like, we're doing it solely for business purpose, and if people want to keep up to date with our stuff, they can do it. They're not actually obliged to actually click on the bell and no one's obliged to watch our content right now do you know what i mean yeah but this is the thing some people have to enforce that a couple of times to say you know what if you do want to be up to date with it then make sure you do it otherwise i'm we're going to be beefing like that's, <laughs> I, I think that just brings up the point as well how we both mentioned about you know representation of a person's character with social media like we mentioned about how likes and comments like, don't get me wrong, it's great to receive a comment saying, oh, you look nice, or this video is great. That's genuine support, and even if we receive a comment about saying, oh, your mic is too low, or I think you should do this, that's constructive criticism as well, which is a good yeah. thing that can enforce something better for the next time you do it. But, yeah, man, fame and ego, wow. Well, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, it's, it, Likes it, and comments on a representation of someone, and exactly. that's how millions and millions of people are um using Trying social be, media yeah, these they days just, they just want to get the, see those big numbers like yeah and I it's, mean, it's it's, it's crazy horrible man it's horrible i mean if like, you're famous yeah like let's do an example if you're like ariana grande or ksi <clears> yeah <throat> and you post a picture and you've got loads of followers because you know you've built yourself up to be this content creator or this artist you know you're going to get a lot of likes and you're not going to be like oh wow one million people just like to photo of me on a sunbed mm. do you know what i mean yeah, yeah it's it's actually mad that people get that shit do you know what i mean i couldn't believe yeah. it it's actually it's mad just, it's the way it is it is man. Like, it's in and ultimately it, it enforces people to compare themselves with other people oh, which kind of gets back to what i was saying before yeah. um and yeah let, let me let me tell you this brief story as well right yeah, this ahead. happened quite recently mm. when i was in a bar and I was speaking with this girl for a little while. Yeah. And then she just went off on some tangent basically about like about social media essentially. Okay. Um about like how she compares herself with other people and she doesn't think she's like good looking, blah blah blah. For the record, she was bloody gorgeous as well. Like I couldn't believe she was even saying it. Yeah. And it just goes to show like how how, how much people can compare with other people. That's what I'm saying, and man. Yeah. I was like just I was just like get rid of it then. Like it, it's but ultimately it's not that simple. I do get it. I do get it, mm. um, because people have a lot of their life on there and a lot of connections and things. Connections, yeah, yeah. Connections um, and everything, yeah, for real. But yeah, man. Social like, media, wow. It, yeah, just 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 going to the point about it. it it's not hard to do it as mm. well. From from personal experience, it it definitely wasn't hard because um, I thought I was going to be missing out so much, and when I did get rid of it, it was like a short time on happiness. And yeah. let, let me tell you this, I think I've already told you this before actually. Mm. Like my brain was fucking wired to go on these websites because yeah, yeah. I remember this so vividly as well. I was at work and one of the first things I did was just pop on like your BBC Sport, yeah. um, pop up your Facebook, your Twitter. And I deleted them and for literally a few days, Raf, I was literally typing in like Facebook.com and I got on the website and I was like, hang on a minute. I don't I'm have it anymore. Count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> like I would subconsciously just go onto them. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? It was insane, mm. honestly. Um, but then gradually, obviously, I got out of that. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, and 
whilst on the topic of like as a result of what of of getting rid of it i uh i wasn't I don't know about intimidated is the right word. I'll cover that anyway. I, was, I wasn't intimidated <laughs> by reading long articles or reading books like yeah, reading yeah, shit absolutely. now. You wouldn't mind doing that stuff because you know you've you've swayed away from the social media. It's like with me as well. Like when I go to work, I'm like ever since I started to lay low with all the social medias, I don't even bother jumping on my phone in the quick minute. Like if I'm on lunch, then that's different. Or if I'm on a little break and everything, but more time I'm either on the internet watching like you know a couple of videos or doing some background reading and just on reading the news because like. All the big stuff's going to be on there as well. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be distributed mm. on Twitter, probably like, you know, via a couple of links and stuff. But yeah, I understand what you mean. It's crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, you man. There was one other thing I wanted to say as well, actually. Mm. <laughs> this, this has happened quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, um, I would I'd be speaking to a, a girl in the bar or something. And whilst we, when we finish talking a second, I get your number or no, no, sorry. She might ask, oh, have you got Instagram or Snapchat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, I don't. And she's like, what? What are you talking about? And I was like, <laughs> can I get your number? How about that? And then they're like, oh, uh, yeah. Raw hesitation, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what, because you and, ain't got a social um, media like, app? Come on, man. They're, they're, so, they're so surprised about the fact that someone doesn't have social media. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's the norm these days, you know? Do you know what? It's funny um, you bring that up because... People would be like, oh, I do have it, but I don't use it anymore. And even being honest, saying I don't have it, is such a bad thing, apparently, for many people. Like, I don't get it. Like, let's say, for example, like, obviously, you had that situation, you said you didn't have it. But if there was a chance where you said, oh, I do have it, but I don't use it. Do you reckon that would have been a different outcome as well from her reaction? Probably, isn't it? Because like, oh, oh yeah, yeah he used to have it. Probably just as easy now. He's a busy oh, man yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that. Ultimately, she she was saying, "Do you have Snapchat or or, or Instagram to, to to probably just get rid of me?" If, ultimately, if she was properly interested, she probably would have taken my number. But yeah, a lot of people do that these days. Um, yeah. I don't want that, man. I just want a number so I can talk to you. Innit? Exactly. <laughs> like you got some WhatsApp. Everything could be done on WhatsApp. Most of the stuff you got status exactly. stuff. You know, send your, your photos and your your location. Shout out Dave and that. Yeah, we the location. I'll be right there. But yeah, <laughs> literally, man. It's, it's, it's wow. Mm. It's Good crazy. chat, man. Good chat. Good Is chat. There any other topics we can cover on this specific? Uh, we've spoken about we've experiences, done... fame and ego. You mentioned your bits. Checking the general notes. Pros and cons we've mentioned already, kind of like the whole aspect of it being used, you know, social media promotion. Do we use it? Should there be a barrier? Mm-mm, should there be a barrier? I mean, Would there be a barrier for social media, Raf? I mean, if you look at it already now, look at our day and age, bro. We've got youngsters that are as young as like 10 jumping on Facebook. And obviously, they could put in a fake age, you know, their privacy settings and stuff. But I think there should be a little bit of a proper secure barrier on there because like... What kind any, of barrier though? Like just... How can I explain it? I mean, I think most apps, probably every single app does enforce like parental locks parental controls and stuff like that yeah but these things can be easily bypassed and like even if they set up like an mfa just to get authentication from the user to make sure that you know they're not um trying to jump into like dangerous holes within like the social media because it's so dangerous man you've got like kids jumping on there like you've heard all these cases in the news about people like finding out where other people live and it's scary stuff man like yeah, I know what you're saying. There, yeah, it's just a bit dangerous, and you know, it's like you said, though, I think you can, you can bypass it ultimately. Like exactly. these, these, these kids the aren't thing, fools; man. they'll they'll find a way to do it. Yeah, There's man. the internet; they'll Google it or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the um, problem. Like everything, everything's on social media. You're jumping on about YouTube. Before you know it, you're on Facebook, and then you're going on YouTube to find out how to get through into Facebook. It's all mad. Flipping. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can win sometimes, but you can't always win, I guess. I don't, I don't know if I don't know if there should be a barrier because I don't know if if it's possible. There might mm. be. I'd need to research it, but I don't know. But <coughs> yeah, I this mean, is the thing. Like, I think the only I barrier is sure. the parents, really. Yeah, yeah. That's literally. It's just the way the parents want to. You know, if they want to be a little bit lenient and like, you know, knock yourself out, blah blah blah, but make sure you're sensible and stuff and cool. But obviously, the kids got to make sure that they take responsibility as well because, you know, before you know, it, if you've got like a 
credit card linked up to the Facebook account and they're spending millions and millions of stuff on the marketplace buying big Charizard plushies and stuff and trying to send it to me as <laughs> fan mail, then that's different, isn't it? But <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, it depends. It really does depend. I mean, obviously, they've already got some sort of like, you know, enforcement for them, but it just depends on how good they last, really. I suppose it, it begs the question then of if you're a parent, mm. would you let your kids on social media? I would let them use certain social media once they reach a certain age. Like, for me, I didn't get a Facebook account until... Oh, what year was it? Probably year... I think this was put into two concepts. One, because I never used it, and two, because I wasn't really interested in it. So probably around year nine is when I got Facebook, and I was like, okay, cool. Because back in the day... Oh, brother, how could we forget? MySpace! MySpace used to be our Facebook back in our school days, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty little music player in the corner top three facts and everything <laughs> but yeah man like if i was a parent i would obviously make sure i do my background research to make sure that my kid is going to be safe and secure on there like and if there's like a, a kid's version of it then they can use it but obviously i'm going to be monitoring their progress and stuff and then when they get old enough and they can make their own decisions and they're different do you know what i mean i mean like look at youtube now they've got like the youtube kids app you know everything's strictly for kids even though yeah. there are some flaws in that but that's my opinion what about you uh, what what would I let my kids yeah. use it? Mm. My gut says no, mm. but I can't stop them. It's very difficult, man. Yeah. It just it's the world we live in. Uh, because I mean, it, it'll be yeah, like, for it. instance, say there's an, uh, an 11 or 12 year old in school, um, and a lot of the kids around them are using social media, like. You don't want to feel left and you know, you know what school can be like. There's a lot yeah. of pressures to be popular and fitting in and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. It's very hard to communicate that to a kid and say, look, don't use it. Because the kid will be like, no, like I have to use it. It's, it's, yeah. it's like the equivalent of don't wearing the freshest clothes that. because everyone exactly. else is wearing them. Yeah, Something like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Raph. It's, it's, a, it's a hard one. It is a hard one, Raph. Like, Maybe it, it's something uh, that will probably come with experience. Yeah. like. I know the answer when I'm older, maybe. But, For yeah, well. anyway. <laughs> Understandable. Understandable. Cool. Yeah. Should we jump into some of the viewers' questions now? Yeah, man, let's do it. Cool, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Shout out to everyone that submitted questions. Shout out. We'll do it in turnalinos. So, first one is from Will, saying, There are people that say social media is bad mental health and society in general. Can you think of any arguments to the contrary? Or do you think they are right and that... We should be using it less, comparing ourselves to influencers less, and going out more IRL. Um, Good question. I think we've kind of mentioned some of this stuff already before, but I think this brings up the topic again of how you were just mentioning, bro, like, you know, popularity, trying to fit in with people, like, there's a lot of, like, you know, cyber security cases, cyber attacks that happen with social media, and, um, you know, people tried their best to fit in and... Yeah. They want to make sure that, you know, if they're they're up to date with the latest stuff on Facebook, you know, promote their new shoes and stuff like that. And it can yeah. have an effect on mental health. It definitely can have an effect on mental health. Um, well, there's like this epidemic. I'm going to say epidemic because it pretty much is of of, of um, mental health today. Whereas like one in four children, I can't remember the specific age, mm. are suffering from mental health issues. Yeah, exactly. And the first question that always comes up is, oh, is it because of social media? Mm. I think it's more complicated than that. I, I don't think you can just, you know, Tie it down social go media. out there and say it's just social media. Yeah. yeah, I think there's more, there's layers to that. But do I think it's contributing? I think it does, yeah, because it's just going back to the comparisons, man, like, especially Instagram. I haven't said during this podcast, by the way, Instagram is fucking awful I know. it's just <laughs> in my opinion i think it's absolutely dreadful yeah pairing yourself 24 7 you're looking at unrealistic shit you're looking at girls half naked which have just like have been taken that one picture has been taken a hundred times to make it look perfect yeah it's just there's right the, I, i'm not kind of going off on a tangent not really answering no, the question please. but anyway <laughs> um yeah like it, it goes back to comparison ultimately and then and then people get upset because of that um so i do think it's a contributing factor yes what what yeah. was the other part of the question as well um, do you think that... they are right and that it should be used uh, do, do you think they are right and that we should be using it less comparing ourselves to influencers less and going out more 
Yeah, I mean, speaking from personal experience, mm. I've I've had long term happiness from not having social media opinion because I've had one less worry. We've got enough worries in our world. Exactly, man. Less Besides, that, that's like what <laughs> we tend to do now as well. Instead of like playing on social media, we could tend to go out. We tend to go out more, and you know go out for a drink or play football do an activity and yeah it's probably better to ease on the mind instead of thinking so much too much about oh i really hope my post gets 100 likes oh yeah they're gonna reply back to my comment oh when's this gonna come out stuff like that yeah definitely I well agree. what else did they say said on the con is there can you think well, of any arguments on the contrary let me see again about, he said can you think of any arguments to the contrary yeah for men for bad mental health and society in general um so how can social media be good? I mean... Promotions, like, you know, raising promotion, awareness I mean, then, maybe or something yeah. like that. And also, I mean, if if it's... if it's Maybe to inspire younger, younger people, like, for example, even like, you know, making yeah. an Instagram video teaching people something or, you know, coming up with a wacky invention and you want to show it off to people. I think those are good things like you know even like with the giveaways you want to like give back to the community like stuff I'm doing like for one of the things then yeah you can go for it as long as you ain't yeah. taking the piss that's it yeah fair enough cool I hope that answered your question Will thanks, yeah, for, the thanks question. for the question Will right next question here is from John what do you think the next step for social media is um, do you want to answer that one first <laughs> oh, the next step I mean to be fair we've got social medias that implement chat pictures video call status um i mean and it's all in real time like what is the next step for social media i think um, that the, the one that pops out in my head is probably uh finance like social media getting involved with with finance yeah uh, yeah like like you've seen with apple pay and android and all of these oh, new yes of course all these new different payment methods and stuff like that how they can yeah. push it forward yeah i i think it's just another area which facebook and twitter and the likes can just monopolize somehow um in in the near distant future probably not mm. but i can i can i can see that happening and I also they'll probably just start buying out more companies again like they're always doing yeah uh, getting more people to join forces f develop new ways and communications and efficiency yeah. for the social media website yeah that's true Twitter might increase their character length. Oh, yeah. It might actually go up to 140 this time. What is it? 120 right now? Yeah, 140. Well, they might not even have a character limit. It's 280 limit. now. I think, no, forget... It? Oh, yeah, 280. Bro, forget the character limit. They need to put an edit button in, man. Do you know how many typers I've made? <laughs> I've made so many typers when I've tried to say, all right, guys, have a good one, this, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Mate, yeah, man. They're definitely there, there, there was nothing worse when Literally. Uh, you come up with some sick tweet and you spelt something wrong, which kills the whole thing. Exactly, <laughs> man. Literally. But... Gosh, man, those are some things. Shout out, John, for the question. Yeah, pick up, John. Cheers for that. Next one is from Chaz. What steps can you see social media taking in the coming future and far future? How big of an impact will it have then? Pff, bruv, like, in the space... I suppose of... it's similar to the last question, I suppose, yeah. isn't it? I mean, if we look about the whole change in the space of this decade, like, flipping Snapchat went from... Snapchat is a clear example. Snapchat went from actually taking a photo and it disappearing to then having infinite loops of videos a snapchat yeah. point video call voice notes it practically turned into flipping whatsapp bruv except that you can just post the snap for an unlimited amount of time and save it you can have your own private vault for all your selfies of you and your boyfriend on your wedding day and all that stuff like yeah, yeah. it's and the like you know there's loads of social media things now i remember i was, I was watching dragon's den not long ago no sorry oh, yeah. my bad i was watching bbc news and there was a guy who found or created another app that would actually allow you to remove any embarrassing photos on your facebook profile so when you go for a job or if they want to check out your social media profiles mm. all of those photos would be disappeared they would be gone but at the same time, I thought that was a bit of an odd idea because, all right, yeah, let's say there's a, a photo of me down at the pub with two pints of beer in my face. Is that <laughs> going to show that I'm quite... That's going to remove the whole aspect of saying, oh, he's just a too goody two-shoes. We're not seeing any, like, energy or what he does on the weekend with his mates and stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's, they're kind of getting rid of, like, the whole... How can I explain it? Personality to someone's character, in a sense. Like, you know, one photo of a beer isn't going to harm too much people. They're just going to show that you're a socialising guy and you like to go out with your mates and stuff. But yeah, bruv, social media, man. 
I suppose I suppose that relates back to a point of um um like you being careful of what you put online and exactly uh just un unnecessary worries really. For real, so man. glad I don't have it, Raf. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, bro. You're you're, you're stress free. You're stress free, literally. But um, um, in we terms kind of, of the impact, the question a bit there, yeah, yeah, I suppose it's similar how, to the last one. Is, yeah, exactly. Just, we kind of leave it at that. Loads of people use it. The more influencers use it, the more celebrities use it. Like promotions, bruv, it's all mad. Flipping everyone's yeah. getting on there now. Cool. And um, the fourth question. Thanks for the question, by the way, Chaz. Pick up yourself. Cheers, Chaz. Um, fourth question from our boy Luke. What is your favourite social network and why? LinkedIn, is the only one I got. <laughs> That's a f <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm fine about it at least. Mine will probably have to be Twitter because I like to interact with people and um, you know chat with viewers and stuff. And, you know, you see a lot of memes in there. Um, and the final question from Luke as well is, if you could create a new social media app, what would it be and what would it do? I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know what? Actually, I think I've got something here. I would create, if I had the chance, I would create like a Pokemon app that would allow people to, um, to like sort of, there's one aspect of Pokemon that loads of people like doing, that's shiny hunting. So basically, in a nutshell, Pokemon have different colorations depending on their rarity. Um, you can get a normal Pokemon that's colored green, for example, and then in a specific coding part of the game, if you encounter a certain amount of Pokemon or if you do a certain amount of tasks, you can find that Pokemon in its alternative color. I would create a social media app that allows shiny hunters to connect to one another, even though you could probably do that on Twitter, flip in you know dms youtube or whatever but basically in sort of like a real time sequence for them to like you know just shiny hunt together in, in like in one game together both of them npcs obviously it's going to take a lot of coding but you know what bun that i'm not about that life <laughs> literally but yeah that was probably what i would do luke shout maybe out i could make yourself. i could make it for you raf yeah we're going to be cooking up some fire later on after this call don't worry <laughs> But yeah, shout out Luke, bro. Nice one yeah, on the boy. questions. And that is it for all the questions. Thank you for everyone that submitted a question. Big up all yourselves. Big up, big up. But yeah, that is questions done. Um, we've rambled on literally for about 40 minutes about social media. Good topic indeed. And I haven't really got anything else to say, JB. No, nah, all good, man. Should we wrap up? Do you want to wrap up? Yeah, it's Christmas time. Let's wrap it up. Oh, God, that was so bad. Oh, no. Uh, no do you but... know what? I'll give you it. Oh, my I'll... guy, you know. Come on, you I'll feel give... me on that one. Good timing you know on that. The, on the spot, I'll give you it. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> it's better than the crumbs one, the flipping gingerbread thing or whatever I said. I can't remember. But, yeah. Um, guys, once again, thank you so much for all of your support. And we really hope you enjoyed episode 11 of the Snippet Podcast. Once again, if you do want to keep up to date with all our content, then you can Make find sure you us. press the bell. <laughs> literally we're going to be doing that social media you, you know you know what i'm saying press the bell <laughs> to keep up to date of all our stuff follow, you can <laughs> follow us on twitter to interact with us and some big bloody podcasts <sighs> might as well make a whatsapp group soon for everyone that would be the best thing <laughs> but um yeah you can find us on spotify and on itunes and of course on twitter at podcast snippet um suggest any new topics for us in the comments we'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think about social media and any new topics you want us to cover as mentioned before we're going to be doing a whole bunch of other videos um jb you want to explain what other videos we're going to be doing bro in the future uh yeah so we mentioned on the last podcast we might be doing some public videos uh we won't reveal what specifically we're going to be doing but we have some stuff in the pipeline for 2020 so that should be really interesting so uh yeah stay tuned for that yeah man it's all exciting stuff um all being well i think it may not be the next episode but maybe the following after that we're going to be doing a special episode that could potentially be live we won't disclose any details yet but um stay tuned for that and yeah man if we don't hear from you by then then have a, yourself a very merry christmas i guess yes um <clears throat> we should do one more before yeah probably but Merry Christmas in advance, isn't it? Yeah, Merry Christmas in advance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Cool. Peace out. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye.